Eric teach his principles of how he speaks was, was a really interesting insight into who he is as a person. And he has this kind of foundational philosophy, which is no problem. And it's like this, if you're a speaker, and I think also kind of in life, if something happens, if they cut your time, or they're like, can you go early? The only response is no problem, no problem. And this idea that when you are able to deal with the different sort of tribulations, you become a much more attractive person to bring into events, to have around you as a friend. So I love this no problem. It explains a lot about him. If, how many of you, if I said to you right now, come up stage and, and do a six-minute talk would be like, no problem? Yeah, good. That's excellent. Really? Okay. <laughs> Michelle, tell us about Jesus and the Apostles. My friend Aaron and I went rafting in Oregon, and this was a few years ago. And we were standing outside of our hotel room in the sun, and the jeep rolls up with the, our rafting guides. And the guides get out, and they're beautiful. <laughs> and it's not just that they're beautiful, because of course Aaron and I aren't that shallow. It's that they're, it's their energy, you know, they're cool. And they've spent the winter rafting in the Amazon. And they've, uh, you know, they're buff and they're tanned and they're shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> and we got them for two days. And they're flirty and they're charming and they get us in the van and they take us down to the river. I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody, but you see somebody that reminds you of someone that you know. When we get down to the river and the third guide walks across the sand towards us like he's walking on water and he has this long, beautiful brown hair rippling behind him. And I said to my friend Aaron, that's Jesus. We've hired Jesus and the apostles to take us down the river. And this day just <laughs> keeps getting better. The guides are hot. The day's hotter. We get on the raft. And almost instantly, it starts to rain. But not just rain, but pour. So now I got sunscreen in my eyes. It hurts. I got to take off my funky hat cool glasses. And one of the <clears throat> apostles says, we've got reindeer. And no, they don't have reindeer. They have these horrible blue tarps that someone has fabricated into a pull-on shirt and pants. And we got to put them on. They don't fit. And about a thousand other people, you know, have sat in them. And they smell. <clears throat> And they smell like old cheese, or maybe tents that somebody's kept in their garage for about 10 years <clears throat> and put away wet. So my day has just gone from <laughs> wow to pow. And then <clears throat> one of the disciples says to me, bless his little heart. <laughs> Are you having a good time? And I said, no, this is pretty much, you know, the worst time I've ever had in my life. And he says, well, we got lots of things to do. There's wine, fishes, loaves. We got these kayaks that we can blow up for you guys, and you can do, um, you know, you can take them down the the rapids, and we can show you how to, to navigate these big rafts. So you can come and sit where we are, and you can do this. But, you know, I'm sitting there, and I'm in, like, you know, pow, mode. Like, I'm thinking, none of this stuff is going to be happening for me. And then Jesus says to me, this is what happens. People sit, and they don't try new things. And they think they have all the time in the world. 
and they don't get out of their seats. And then the trip's over. So life lessons for me, sitting in a smelly raincoat in the pouring rain on a raft in Oregon. That's what happens if you look way too enthusiastic when I say something like that. Some of my Christians are not rhetorical. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. I, I love your stories, your humor, everything about the way you present and grounding it back in wisdom, which is it's just something I really wanted to get across to you guys today, which is that you are in the trip right now. And some of it can be bumpy and some of it might be challenging. It's kind of the point. Like you guys didn't come here to just be in your comfort zone. And some of what we're creating for you guys is play and pleasure. And some of it is designed, whether it's intellectually or physically or socially, to push your boundaries a little bit. So be part of the trip. Get out of your seats, right?